Hi Leo, it's Jay from Angels and Ancestors and this is your What The Fuck reading 22nd through to the 28th of June. Oh, that was a bit of a mess. So Leo, what's been going on? Just a quick reminder, blimey Leo, what has been going on? Just a quick reminder, lovelies, um, that we've got a bit of a giveaway at a thousand scrubs, scrubs, subs, if you want... Sorry, love. If you want um, to take part, just leave a message in the comments box. Make it polite, please. Um, and just, there'll be five people picked for a reading, and one lucky reader will get their own oracle deck. Um, that's about it. The other thing I wanted to say was keep in mind that these are general readings. Um, they're not meant for everybody. Go and look at your moon or star, sun sign. So star sign, rising sign, whatever they call it, um, if this doesn't resonate with you. Um, just because sometimes though they other aspects have better pulls on us than other ones. Um, so my lovely Leos, let's find out. That's your journey. What can you do about this situation, lovelies? And what the fuck is out of your hands, Leo? Right, my darlings, you have got loads of cards for your current situation. And I think, me thinks there's a bit of a story. So, lovelies, you have, to start the what the fuck started the situation, you've got accolades. So, you've been celebrated. Something has happened where family, friends and community have celebrated you. And you've come back to this accolade. And you kind of felt that it was more luck than judgment. Because I'm kind of getting that, you know, maybe you didn't quite use the wheel of the year um, to its full advantage, but it still came absolutely right. And then right behind that, I'm getting... Whew, someone is well PO'd, aren't they? Look at that face. Um, I'm kind of getting that you was recognised for this. You didn't use the Wheel of the Year fully for the luck that it could have bought you, but it still turned out okay. And then after this has died down, you kind of like got a bit sullen. I'm wondering where that other freaking cup is. So, as you know, I don't always go along with cups being just about love. I think they're about a whole host of emotions and other things that we can put in them. But you've definitely got a missing one. Um, and I'm kind of getting that you're not sure where it's coming from. So, right behind your four of chalices, you have... The page of a Thames who's clearly asking you to draw down energy from the universe, from that full moon, and use the moon to illuminate what is going on for you and use the wisdom that you've accumulated to make decisions around this situation that you now find yourself in. I kind of get that after the accolade and it all died down, you got in the doldrums because you just... I don't think you was aware of the kindness that was around you. You can't. I think I'm getting that you may have picked up one or two lame ducks in the process of this. So again, you've got the moon. Let that illuminate the truths or the untruths and a pathway forward. You have got the high priest who is beckoning you 
to use that illumination of the moon and the strength of the sun in order to move away from this middle bit here and then my lovelies you've got the world tree so what I'm kind of getting is, is that this accolade although you didn't use the wheel properly like the luck properly it still came out all right but you got a bit fed up with it and now you need to re-energize yourself you need to realize what it is how it happened why it happened trust your tr traditions trust what you already know to kind of bring you back to where you need to be and that is successful that is almost like if you look at the world tree and the accolade that is almost like a full circle so you've started with that and you've gone through this middle bit and you've ended with that and that's what started the what the fuck I'm kind of getting that I'm kind of getting that maybe somebody is saying to you you don't know how lucky you are um and I don't think they fully understand the middle bit of this these cards. They're looking at either end and they're going, you're really lucky and you're going, you don't know what I'm dealing with. You haven't got a freaking clue what I'm dealing with. You have not got any idea of how pissed off I am, the energy that I have to muster and use tools in my toolkit to illuminate stuff, to understand stuff. Um, to get this accolade and to get this yes card but funnily enough facing your fears and taking your fucking power back darling i don't know what it is with you leo but this is the yes card this is the best card in the deck that is another yes card you got two yes cards right at the beginning of your reading you are now allowing you're facing your fears and you are allowing the sunshine back into your life and all that the sunshine does for you and don't forget the high priest uses the sun for the energy that it gives this is a growth energy nothing grows without the sun nothing works properly without the sun even when it's hidden it is still working for us and at this point where the sun is the highest in the sky and it's very relevant for this week because of the solstice um you kind of like have to think that it's been the, in the highest and you are now allowing that sun to come back in um you're letting that sun light up your soul and what it is that you want going forward that is mightily powerful that is a good power to be in and if that's what you face if you face that fear that you haven't used that energy to its full advantage then now is the time to do it so lovelies what you've been manifesting your wish fulfillment and why this may be fucked why have you been manifesting yourself this is the crone in this deck in other decks she's strength and she has got the beautiful line that offers her strength to keep moving forward on her pathway as she collects her knowledge, wisdom, um, intuition, her bravery, all of the stuff that she can put together. She does that and he offers her this strength to surge forward and continue her journey. Now... This you've been manifesting, my lovelies. You've been manifesting yourself. You've been manifesting it beautifully. But when I laid this card down, I clearly, clearly got, you doubt your own strength. You doubt what it is that you are capable of doing. Not just capable of doing positively, but capable of doing negatively. Um, when people like you, they really like you, Leo. And I kind of get that you doubt that a lot to your detriment is what I'm getting. So darlings, take note of this. You really want to be standing in that strength power. You really want to be using that knowledge and wisdom. And 
absolutely embracing that people like you. People like you. They talk about you. They hold you in good stead. They really do. Don't doubt it for one minute. So, Leo, your journey, where the fuck you need to be, you've got the seven of a thames. Now, darling, this is air sign. This is about thoughts. This is in your head. Um, so, this is telling you about a move forward, a move out of your comfort zone, a completely and utterly different way of life. It could be that you're thinking of moving from a town into a country situation or vice versa. It could be that you're thinking about going and living off grid. It could be that you're thinking of moving countries. It is something completely different for you, Leo. So, my darlings, what you can do about the situation, you have got a new beginning, the Ace of Athames. This is drawing down energy from the universe. This is drawing down energies and letting your thoughts and your wishes go off and those seeds to be planted elsewhere. This is not a new beginning where you currently are. This is a new beginning that you are sowing for the future then you have the knight of wands again fire fire sign moving beautifully towards that sun in the distance how many bloody sun cards have you got uh, beautifully towards that sun distance however the road is not straight it is bendy and it is more about the journey than it is actually getting to your destination. And it's saying absorb, take in this. This is your passion. This is what you've wanted to do. This is who you've wanted to be with. And now you're able to do this, this journey. Um, and it is about absorbing the journey and not the destination. Right in behind those two cards you've then got the two of chalices this is a celebration of a partnership now it could be a couple getting together it could be a business partnership it could be family members a um, whole host of things but there is a celebration of a partnership that is going to help this situation so you're going to draw down energy and sow seeds for the future. You're going to move beautifully towards that sun, but taking in the journey. Allow yourself to do this celebration, Leo. That horse is walking towards that celebration. Allow that to happen. And what it's telling you as your last card is this is a completion this is the Ten of Wands. Why have you picked up so much shit from everybody else? People have had opinions, worries, problems, all the rest of it, all the above, and you've picked it all up. Put the fucking stuff down. Put it down. You don't need it. You can walk beside people. You can help them sort out their situations, their issues, their problems, whatever. But they're not yours to bear. And a 10 will turn into a 1 and a new beginning. And if you put those rods down, you will get to the top of that hill, to those standing stones where that light is beautifully shining. You need to be back on your journey. Clearly, you need to be back on your journey, your life's journey. Wherever that is leading you, wherever that is taking you, you need to steadily get back on route. Because I'm kind of getting that this what the fuck has kind of redirected you, but not in a positive way. And I'm getting that that's not because you're putting any crap out there for anybody else. This is all to do with you and your inner feelings, your inner thoughts about you. 
and your journey clearly at the moment is to get rid of those negative thoughts get rid of who it is that may be dragging you down but know that your power is immensely high absolutely immense so lovely is what you can't do about the situation you can't help yourself can you leo you just have to go upside down in a tree and look for things from a different perspective but what if if only you know if's a big word for two little letters it really is stop doing that it's all right to look at things from different angles but it's not all right to cut your nose off to spite your face so be careful when you've got the Holly King that it is the infinity sign that you do want something but you just need to know more about it um, and not know more about it to cut it out. So lovely, it's right in the beginning you had the High Priest beckoning you to use the moon and here you have the high priestess in the reconnection to the true you leo now male or female it doesn't matter i work with energies not with sexuality she is drawing energy down from that moon she is using her intuition and her instincts to fill that pot up she hasn't got a recipe book not like the traditional high priest has she adds things and knows that it's going to turn out all right and i kind of get in that you have lost that spark that desire to test the water can I put this in will that spice it up or would it dull it down and you've kind of lost that um, confidence that you know how to do this and you do and reconnecting to your true self I think you're going to give yourself a bit of a shock just how powerful you really are when it comes to your intuition um, Leo so darlings at the end of the deck you have got yet another new beginning and this is the ace of pentacles this is around money it's around home it's around career um, it could be all three that are going to be affected but there is going to be a hell of a change for you and it's going to be for the better I kind of get because of all these positive beautiful cards that you've got in the reading you just need to get yourself back on track know your strength because you're allowing the sun back in why not allow the strength back in as well i just want to clarify the beginning oh i'm not taking that many just want to clarify um what started the what the fuck um, for you because those three cards in the middle okay so you were standing in your power darling you had the witch you had the number one in the deck so this is a new beginning. You were standing mightily and powerful and you knew to protect yourself. But loves, you held on to something from the past. Something that you should have dealt with. Something that should have gone away a long time ago. And you held on to this and it had an effect on your ability to recognise your power it dulled down your power it's whatever this is from the past that you need to let go may have involved money may have involved um a separation of some sort but it's dulled your senses about how extremely powerful you are and that's your journey back your journey back is you're letting the sun in you are regaining your strength you are manifesting now get it into your life you are seeking something you are going somewhere else what you can do about the situation put those fucking burdens down if you put those burdens down you had those three cards to deal with the situation i would say that you are well on your way to a beautiful new way of being with people around you stop hanging upside down in trees 
perspective is overrated as far as I'm concerned. It doesn't matter how you look at an egg, from what angle you come from. If you look at an egg and you look at it from all angles, it is still going to be a freaking egg. So lovelies, that's your main reading. Right at the bottom of the deck, you've got the Queen of a Thames. Now this could be you have got air sign within your birth chart or there could be somebody around you that's an air sign. This Queen, male or female, energies again, um, knows how to use that athame, knows how to draw energy down with it, she knows how to protect herself with it, but she also knows how to cut away the stuff that no longer serves her. And maybe you need to be tapping into that with that energy that is around you currently. So lovely is the angels and ancestors, let's ask them for some knowledge, wisdom and guidance. For the 22nd to the 28th of June. Okay, my lovelies, you have the moon. Take note of intuitive messages, really. Moon, moon, I think it was in the first lot, moon. And you have mountains, and this is stand your ground, Leo. Leo, listen, lovelies, wherever you are in the world, please, please, please be safe, and I will see you in the next reading. Bye for now.